Assalamu alaikum and thank you for joining us again. The cliche goes, patience is a virtue. Patience is something that develops over time and in certain circumstances. Without patience, we wouldn't work hard to achieve good results at school or we wouldn't see a project run through until its end. But does patience have a limit? We all know someone or perhaps we've been through it ourselves where we've lost the will to hold on to patience. But then what are the consequences of this? How does losing patience affect our soul? And a question I have um, for my lovely ladies is, is patience a skill that you can learn? I think you learn patience over time by things that you go through, you have to learn to be more patient. Sometimes some people are born with like a lot of patience. I feel like mm. there's people who just are incredibly patient, no matter what. Whereas other people don't have that. So I'm not really sure if it's something you learn or maybe the environment that you've grown up in that just to learn to be patient or the role models that you have or mm. it's something that you're born in I'm not really sure I think it's a mixture of both there's the aspect of actually learning it because of through the experiences that you've been through mm. but there's also I also feel and I feel very strongly about this when Allah has given us the power to be patient mm. he and that I'm so grateful for it because there have been times and I know without patience, I wouldn't survive. And it patience is something you do learn, yes. Mm. But we it has also been given to us. Mm. I feel that it's already there within us. We just have to learn how to bring it out in the right time. Now I think it's also the circumstances that we go through and the uh, struggles of daily living, really, that, that kind of... Um, focuses and enhances the, the patience that we have because you can be born with patience but if you don't ever have to use it I don't think it will be there when you actually need it one day yeah um, it's all it's all a skill it's learned um, but once you have it it's just like learning how to ride a bicycle for example once you learn yeah, it that's you it never you'll never forget, forget. yeah mm -hmm. I think someone that I look up to a lot who has a lot of patience is my mother um because she converted and she had a lot of difficulties with her family my dad's her her dad stopped speaking to her mm. when she married my dad. So she had a lot of patience in that she truly believed in what, she, like that my dad was a good person and she believed in Islam. So mm. for her, she was so patient in that, imagine your own parents not speaking to you, your whole family disowning you. She, I think her patience mm. is amazing. I've never met someone who's so patient and has been through so much that still remained strong in that like, it will be fine, it will work out. And eventually, like, she's doing it for the right reasons. It's like having that patient to hope that one day everything will yeah. be sorted out, that she will be able to speak to her parents. Yeah, she mm. knows that, like, it will be fine because she's doing it for the right reasons. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I'd have to agree in terms of who I look up to. I look up to my mother mm. and she's, she's lost a lot. She's gained a lot. She's struggled a lot. And just to see how she composed herself, she was still able to get through daily life and through all the challenges and go through all those obstacles just by having some patience, mm -hmm. just by waiting, waiting for the right moment. Yes, it was hard, but I know that if you're patient, it will come and things will get sorted. Nothing yeah. remains a problem forever. Now, young Muslim women, they are always associated with making wrong decisions. And that's purely because they're being impatient. Now, I disagree strongly with that, uh, with that statement because with impatience, it is not just associated with young Muslim women. It is associated with men, young, old, women, whoever. It, everyone has some sort of impatience and depending mm. on what. Yes, there are people who are great at waiting and being patient mm -hmm. and keeping that their cool mm -hmm. but whereas young muslim women are said to make wrong decisions now that's wrong i uh, that in itself is a wrong statement to make i think what most people mean when they say that is about marriage yeah isn't it they I say that either say, yeah. they're either rushed into getting married and they were impatient to wait or they rushed getting out of a marriage and they were impatient in the sense of... You see of it a lot, like, mm. especially young girls, because there's such a stigma towards marriage that mm. 
they, oh, you have to get married. Why are you not married yet? Mm. You're at this age, you're gonna expire soon. So yeah, they feel, oh my God, I'm not married. Let me mm. rush into it. So mm. yeah, there is impatience towards marriage. I, I do think that exists in our community. But I think the men, the young Muslim men are also making that mistake. They are yeah. also making a decision and rushing into it yeah. because they're being told you're ready. You know, you're ready to do this. But you're ready to, uh, to get married. But marriage isn't as simple as saying, yes, I'll get married and then having a wedding. It's marriage is a life commitment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a commitment where you need the strongest patience. And I just think it isn't just surrounded around marriage. I think it's surrounded by almost every decision that girls have to make uh, in terms of what they want to study. And what they, when, whenever a girl wants to choose what she wants to study, especially within the community that I grew up in, what she studied had to be either pharmacy, medicine, law, um, engineering, though, you know, the high paid roles. And I don't think that's fair because we have so many different talented young Muslim young people who are amazing at you know filming amazing at teaching they're amazing at doing architecture i mean there's so many different things and it's so limited i mean from what i know within my community there's hardly anyone who does social work there's Mm. literally about two people that i think that i know who are within our community that have actually gone to university and taken um, a degree in social work and it just goes to show that everyone's being pushed rather uh, yeah. to making those decisions. Mm. But I think that's changed quite a lot yeah. from our generation onto the next generation. The next generation now who are at university who are much younger than all of us, they're doing things like graphic and design and um, architecture and um, uh, film productions. They're mm. doing all of these things. But and it still exists. I think, yeah, it still no, exists, this, definitely. The, yeah. the idea is still there, like, yeah. you should be doing this. But I don't think it's as bad as it was like the pressure isn't it's as much changed. yeah it's definitely changed time it's going towards but a lot towards of people it. are rushing into just any degree yeah but that's like, a problem that, that, and that's yeah. why there's so many people who are failing their first year because they've rushed into yeah. it and so i do agree there the, the impatience is there but i also think it's because of the external factors around them definitely but mm-hmm. what else are you going to do you finished sixth form and and what else are you going to do if you still haven't decided what That's you're going to do? Thing. Yeah. Is, is the system the way it's shaped? Yeah. And the progress of education is, is there's no, no time for you to think. From GCCs, you kind of need to figure out because A levels need to choose mm. them according to whatever you want to specialize in later on. Yeah, but, like it's where parents have an idea that as long as you have a degree, it doesn't really matter what it's in. Definitely. Because I know a lot of people, especially in my university, there's a lot yeah. of people in first year, second year, and they're like, we're just doing it because our parents want us to get a degree. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the degree is in as long yeah. as they have a degree yeah. to show. Yeah. So they're rushing into anything and yeah. they're unhappy. Like I've spoken to them and they're unhappy. They're like, yeah. I don't want to do this. Yeah. But my parents want me to. Yeah. Now, as young Muslim women, we are faced with different challenges from disappointment, grief, losses. And it can be quite difficult to remain patient through all of that. Mm. I mean, I know that I faced a great challenge when I lost someone dear to mm. me. I lost my aunt and it was one of the hardest things that I ever went through because I've never experienced death mm. of someone so close to me. And to be able to understand it, to be able to be patient. And I mean, the only thing that really helped me was the patience that I know that Allah, if he didn't give it to me, then there is no way that I would have been able to survive that. Yeah. No, I agree because when my aunt passed away and I remember we were talking about it when both of our aunts passed away in that it was during my exams and then I went to my university and they were like just you've got to get on with it Mm -hmm. and it was something that I had really struggled with because when you care about someone so much and then just losing them how do you cope and we really Mm -hmm. it's a it's time you have to be really strong and really patient because you you life still goes on yeah. nothing stops you don't get that time to process yeah even though you want it you want the time to pause and you to like get over the situation and when do you ever get over it yeah exactly it's it's always going to be there and i i mean after three days i went back to work mm. and i mean it the distraction helped the distraction helped by far but it was also the strength to be patient while i was at work 
because you did have people coming and talking to me about yeah. it. And how do you not break down? How, how, do you not, how do you not feel in pain? And it's quite difficult. It really is. And that's why I'm so grateful for p- having patience. I mean, I, I genuinely feel so strongly about patience because yeah. it's helped me get through so many difficulties in life and be able to compose myself and know what next steps I need to take. From Sayyidah Zainab Salam, what happened to her in Kabul, like when she lost her brother and her sons, and like all her family, she had to remain patient throughout that whole ordeal with the Yazids and like that, that entirety where she was a prisoner, like she had to remain patient herself. And I think from that, that helped me a lot when dealing with the loss of my aunt, we were talking about loss and with other situations in life where I've had to really remain patient and try and cope with what's going on around me. I had to think like, wow, like, there is any place that I'm like, remain patient during this great time. And she was really went through a lot. Yeah, I mean, thinking about the tragedy, losing all those that she loved. Mm -hmm. And yet, though the, the trials that she had to go through, they didn't stop. And yet she still felt so empowered that she felt that she needed to be the strong one and keep going through it to protect them. And and the trials did not stop. They kept continuing and continuing. Mm. Now she was faced with the person who killed her family, who ordered all of those killings. And yet she was patient enough to stand there and speak up. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I'd be able to. I, I think mm. I'd, I'd just go, I'd go berserk. She had to pick herself up after yeah. everything. She still had to pick herself up and speak up for her whole family. Yeah, she's the embodiment of patience exactly. yeah. and there goes to show how um patience um is related to spirituality because yeah. of, of their high faith in um, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and knowing that it's all last plan then um they they had all that patience um the Ahlul Bayt, alayhim, salam, so um and patience is only tested when we go through struggles no one was really tested with their patience when we're happy um yeah so yeah, yeah.